Extraction of mycotoxins from the contaminated grains. Mycotoxins are the toxic secondary metabolites. They are present in the filamentous fungi. So they are biological in origin as they are produced naturally by the certain type of molds. These molds can produce mycotoxin when they grow on the numerous food stuff such as cereals, dry fruits, nuts and spices. Mold growth can occur either before the harvest time or after the harvest time. After harvest, it could be during the storage in or in the on or in the food itself under the warm, damp and humid conditions. These are the conditions responsible for the growth of these molds. Now, most mycotoxins, they are chemically stable and they can survive the food processing also. They are very stable. That is the very significant feature of the mycotoxin. The natural fungal flora associated with the food safety are dominated by three genera, that is Aspergillus, Fusarium and Penicillium. So these are the three important genera which produce the mycotoxin. Now coming to the significance of the mycotoxin, the effect of the some foodborne mycotoxin, they are acute with the symptoms of the severe illness. This is called as mycotoxicosis and this appearing quickly after the consumption of food product contaminated with the mycotoxins. Okay, so once the food is consumed, the symptoms will appear instantly other mycotoxins occurs in the food they have been linked to long-term effects on the health so some have the effects that are long term immediately they are not appearing but they will be long term and these will include the induction of the cancers and immune deficiency these fungal metabolites when present in sufficiently high levels in the food they can have other toxic effects also like uh, liver or kidney or deterioration and that can extend up to the chronic mutagenic and teratogenic and these all are the effects of the long term uh, effects on the health of the human being and they will result these symptoms will result from the skin irritation to immune suppression neurotoxicity and death so and the chronic cancer like the liver cancer okay so like this we can see that they are these uh, mycotoxins they are very dangerous for the health because the most uh, significant characteristic of these uh, mycotoxins they are stable towards the food processing so after the once they are there in the food very difficult for us to uh, deactivate okay so that is the significant feature of the mycotoxin Not like main important uh, human carcinogens are aflatoxin b1 fumonisins and patulin so these all are the very uh, important and the significant mycotoxins for the human health so we will see with the deal with the aflatoxin here so aflatoxin these are the first uh, known mycotoxin group that was described as a result of turkey x disease in 1960 by these scientists these are the aflatoxin is a highly secondary highly toxic secondary metabolite derived from the polyketide product produced by the fungal species as these are the fungal species aspergillus flavors parasiticus and nomias aflatoxin producing fungi they can contaminate the crop again whether it is it can, it could be in the fields itself it could be at the time of harvest or it could be during the storage some of the more common crops susceptible to the contamination with the aflatoxins these are cereals like maize rice and wheat and tree nuts like pistachio then there are 20 more than 20 uh, known aflatoxin but four main are uh, these are uh, aflatoxin b1 aflatoxin b2 and g1 and g2 so these four these are main aflatoxins which are associated with the mycotoxicosis more than 10 types of aflatoxin occur naturally in of which af b1 it is the most toxic af b1 b2 af then af g1 g2 and g2 they occur in they occur in the contaminated feed AF M1 and M2, they are present in the remnant milk after the digestion of feed contaminated by the AF B1 and B2. Okay, so once the feed is digested, feed is uh, consumed by AF B1 and B2, these M1 and M2 will be present in the milk. Okay, so aflatoxin B1, B2, G1, G2, these refers to the toxic and uh, these are the toxins and these fluoresce blue and green under the ultraviolet light when these are separated by the TLC. So the only structural difference between B and G toxin is the inclusion of an oxygen in the cyclopentane ring. In the next slide, we will see the structure also. Now we will see the level of toxicity associated with the aflatoxin. So B1, then G1, then B2 and G2. So this is the decreasing order of the uh, toxicity. 
coming to the these are the structure of the different aflatoxin b1 b2 g1 g2 and m1 m2 and how they are transforming into one another coming to the our experimental part that is the extraction of aflatoxin from the contaminated groundnuts we need the uh, certain requirements are there like firstly we have to take the food stuff here we will take the grains we are taking the peanuts and these groundnuts are the fungal infected apart from that we need methanol we need nacl hexane and distilled water so uh, these all are the basic requirements after that we will go for the uh, we will see the methodology so for, firstly we will take the 50 gram of contaminated sample after grinding the fungal infected groundnuts okay so the groundnuts will be uh, fungal infected groundnuts we will take we will uh, uh, weigh them and we will ground them into the powder then we will put this powder into the Erlenmeyer flask 500 ml then we will add into the flask we will add the methanol h2o 85 percent to 15 percent that is the volume by volume this ratio we will add to the flask and close the lid tightly then we will shake the flask vigorously by hand until the sample mix properly and show no clump means the proper mixing should be there then we will keep it with the wrist action shaker also with the help of wrist action shaker we will again thoroughly we will mix it then filter the mixture through the medium fluted paper so that we will do the filtration will be done now we will collect the 40 ml of the filtrate okay after the filtrate uh, collection we will transfer it to the uh, separator funnel so the one separatory funnel is there in that we will transfer the uh, this uh, filtrate okay so once the filtrate is there from which we are going to isolate the mycotoxin we have to add certain chemical because we are using here the separation method uh, that is uh, liquid liquid separation technique okay so now what, what we will use we will add some uh, 40 ml of 10 percent NaCl solution then we will mix it and then we will add 20 percent 25 ml of hexane now shake it for one minute liquid liquid extraction will be there this is also called as solvent extraction it is a common technique used in the extraction and the purification of the analytes for the further analysis this extraction approach is approach is based on two like uh, what is the principle in this the two immiscible solvents the aqueous solvent and the organic solvent that it is there so the solvent containing the analyte is placed in the funnel and the immiscible solvent is added like here we have added the hexane now we, uh, it will form the two layer again we will shake it together we will keep it for some time two layers will be formed the analyte that migrate from the initial solvent to the second solvent based on their relative solubility into the in the solvent so after that later the phases will be separate once the phases are separate then we will again uh, drain the lower phase into the second funnel bottle and discard the upper layer because the in the second lower layer the uh, the analyte which we are going to observe that will come into the second layer then we will take it out we will again uh, mix it and again keep it for extraction and this way we will separate the this uh, uh, toxin okay but for uh, uh, further analysis we need some modernized machine also but in routine we can do this solvent solvent extraction for the uh, this uh, isolation okay because for like uh, uh, modern or uh, we can say uh, uh, this chromatography techniques are used for the separation of the more uh, precisely okay now result aflatoxin will be extracted by the liquid extraction mechanism from the contaminated ground so let's see firstly once once the procedure so like here we have taken the grains then we have made a powder with a mortar pestle then we have added it into the uh, mix it and after that with the help of shaker we have mixed the solution then we have filtered it after filtration we have transferred it to the measuring flask then we have kept it into the separatory funnel and then we have added the hexane solution so this way the by the solvent extraction technique we can separate or we can isolate the aflatoxin that is a uh, harmful mycotoxin. Thank you.